RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. It's a common respiratory infection that usually causes mild cold symptoms in most people. But in young children, especially less than six months of age, and adults over age 65, we can see more moderate to severe disease that will present to um, outpatient clinics, emergency room departments, and even hospitalizations. It's really hard to tell the difference between the viruses, um, COVID, RSV, influenza, enterovirus, they all can look very similar um, depending on your age as well. So nasal congestion, runny nose, cough, fever, decreased energy levels, sneezing, and in young children sometimes we see increased work of breathing and wheezing in their airways. Most cases are self-limited, especially in children that are um, preschool aged and older or healthy adults. They will never present to care. In those cases, children do not need an RSV test to return to daycare or school. For children um, that do present to outpatient clinics, emergency room departments, we may consider testing for RSV among other viral illnesses to help us differentiate what's causing it because that can affect our treatment and also can affect um, what we do to kind of quarantine and prevent the spread of, of whatever is causing the infection to other people. When your child is sick with a respiratory infection, there's three important things to watch for. The first thing is their work of breathing. The second is whether they're staying hydrated. Um, and the third is their level of alertness or the responsiveness to you. Hydration um, means that they need to have at least three wet diapers in 24 hours if you're looking at a child who's still uh, wearing diapers. Um, they will drink less um, when they are, are sick and they will probably not be interested in eating, but they need to be able to drink enough to maintain at least that minimum of three wet diapers in 24 hours. When we look at their work of breathing, and how hard they're, that means how hard they are working. So they, are they breathing faster, shallower, and harder? And do you see the skin sucking in in between their ribs, above their rib cage, in their neck area, um, and below their rib cage? Those are signs that they need to be seen. And then the last thing is, are they, they not as responsive to you as they should be? So kids that don't feel good generally sleep a little bit more, but when they are awake, they should be awake and alert um, and still have periods of playfulness, especially when they have their um, antipyretic or anti-fever medications and they feel a little bit playful, but they might go back to that kind of feeling very tired. We are seeing higher levels than we expected given the time of year. Um, and we did see um, high levels in the Southern Hemisphere during their flu season, and that's how we generally predict what our flu season will be like. Um, so we're hoping that people, if they aren't currently vaccinated, go ahead and get their vaccine as soon as possible. It takes a couple weeks to get protection and um, ch some children will need more than one dose to get full protection. So make your appointments today, get your vaccine as soon as possible. The general symptoms for influenza are fever, body aches, myalgias we call that, cough, um, sometimes nasal congestion or runny nose can be associated with it. Um, in, in younger children, one thing that does set them apart sometimes from other viruses is that we sometimes will see vomiting and diarrhea associated with it and the presence of fever, but sometimes not those cough, runny nose, um, congestion sort of symptoms. People should seek medical attention for influenza if they are, if they are struggling to breathe themselves, have difficulty um, getting a whole sentence out, working harder to breathe. And if people are not staying hydrated, that's another reason to have them um, come in and be seen. Um, one last uh, thing to, to watch for is people's changing their level of alertness and sometimes this can represent um, more per severe progression of their disease.